Okay, so first things first, I'm shooting this on a different camera than I normally use. This is my Fujifilm camera that I bought first when I was trying to start doing like uh, half decent YouTube videos. Um, I figure maybe the autofocus might work better on this camera and maybe I'll just use this camera for like tabletop style knife videos and continue to use my uh, Kodak Kix Pro or Pix Pro for like uh, outdoor filming and pictures and stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, talking about this knife sitting in front of me here, this is another Case Daddy or Granddaddy Barlow that I won off of an eBay auction. Um, I forget how much the actual auction was. I think it might have been like $50. I kind of assumed that I was not going to win the auction. Um, so I think it was around like $50. Uh, and then I ended up winning it. And then the shipping was like, I don't know, $8 or something like that. So it ended up being around 60 or 65 I don't really remember. It was something like that. It was a price that was well worth it from my opinion for a knife like this. Um, which appears to not ever have been used or carried or sharpened. Of course, I've carried it now a couple of times. Um, it's got this really go cool looking like black or like a dark gray jig bone. I guess dark gray would be black. I really like the case shield on this. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I think this knife was made in 1997. I think that's what the seller said. It's got this limited edition one of 2500 etch on the blade there. Um, so if you're one of the people that owns one of the other 2500 of these knives, just know that your value is going to go up because I'm going to be carrying this and it's going to get scratched up and everything. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty well built knife it seems. Uh, it's got a gap here in the back spring. I think these larger knives, like these Daddy Barlows and stuff, I think it's kind of hard to do them when there's no gaps but there's no blade play when the blades open which is like the most important thing to me um, and then when it's closed the action on it's really good when it's closed it has that same like side to side little bit of blade wobble when it's closed which is a little concerning but not the end of the world my green one had it too and I pounded the crap out of it to try to fix I pounded the crap out of the pivot to try to fix the blade moving around when it's closed. And, um, you know, I kind of wish I hadn't done that because now the bolster on that knife is really beat up looking. Of course, I'm going to carry it and use it anyway. So, I mean, it's really not ever going to be worth anything anyway. Um, but, you know, I didn't do that with this knife and I'm not going to do that with this knife because the action on this knife is really good and I don't want to screw that up. Um, but yeah, so this is just, you know, Case Daddy Barlow made in, I think, 97, I think, believe is what it said. Um, you know, a limited edition one, uh, with this cool jigged black bone, which actually looks really nice. Of course, the shield's still glued. I'm not sure when Case stopped pinning their shields. But it was sometime well before the 90s that they started doing that. Um, but yeah, the fit and finish on this knife is pretty decent, except for the little gap there between the back spring and the liner. And the little bit of blade moving around when it's closed, which is kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this knife for what I paid for it, which, like I said, I think was around $60. This was like... Uh, I don't know, a month ago already that I bought this. Okay, not a month ago. It was like two or three weeks ago that I bought this. Um, I believe I won the auction on August 29th. And then I didn't get it till like September 6th, it looks like. Or 5th. I either got it on the 5th. I probably got it on the 5th because the 5th is Saturday. But yeah. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with this knife for what I paid for it. I think it's a really nice looking knife and another awesome addition to my daddy or granddaddy Barlow collection.